A zero click attack is a cyber attack that requires no action from the victim. No link clicks, no downloads, no attachments open. You don't tap anything, you don't answer, you simply receive something, a message, a call, even a file. And that's all an attacker needs. That incoming item can exploit a hidden bug in your phone or app and run code on your device without you knowing. In this video, we'll break down how these attacks work, show real-world examples like Stage Fright and Pegasus and explain why AI agents are making the problem way worse, what you can do to stop it and why platforms like Clerk are becoming a core part of modern app security. Let's get started. Think of every app and phone feature as a little machine that automatically reads and handles things for you. Messages, calls, files. Most of the time, that's useful. The problem is, those machines trust the data they receive. Here's the attack chain, step by step. The attacker crafts a special found message, media file or call. That message is sent to your device. You don't open it, you don't respond, it just arrives. Your phone or app automatically inspects or decodes the incoming item. Things like thumbnails, metadata, codecs, file headers. And then comes the exploit, a hidden bug in the parsing code. For example, a buffer overflow or a malformed file handling is triggered by the malicious input. The bug lets the attacker run code on your device, remote code execution, giving them control without any action from you. Real examples make this concrete. Stage Fright was a crafted MMS that crashed the media parser and let attackers run code. Pegasus sometimes used a missed call or malformed messages to install spyware. Same pattern, attacker, automatic processing, exploit, and then takeover. Back in 2015, there was a bug in Android phones called Stage Fright. All it took was a single MMS, maybe a video or a message. And before you even opened it, your phone's media system started processing it automatically. Hidden inside that message was code that exploited a flaw in Android's media engine, giving hackers remote control. You didn't click, you didn't even see it coming. Fast forward a few years and things got even creepier. Enter Pegasus, one of the most infamous spyware tools ever built. In some versions, all it needed was a missed WhatsApp or FaceTime call. You didn't have to answer, just receiving the call triggered the infection. Once inside, Pegasus could silently read your messages, turn on your camera, or even listen to you through the microphone. That's how journalists and activists around the world were secretly monitored. And even Apple users weren't immune. Around 2021, a flaw in iMessage let attackers send a malicious file, like a PDF, that your phone would automatically preview in the background. That preview alone was enough for full device takeover. So across Android, iPhone, WhatsApp, the pattern's the same your device tries to help by automatically handling messages, calls, or files. But when that helpful automation meets a bug, the result is silent hack. No clicks, no warning, just compromise. All right, so far we have talked about zero-click attacks on phones and apps. But now there is a new player in the mix, AI agents. These are the smart tools that read your emails, summarize documents, or even execute tasks on your behalf. Super convenient, right? But here is the catch. They also act automatically. Just like those message parsers we talked about earlier. Imagine this. You tell your AI assistant to go through your inbox and summarize everything important. Seems harmless. But what if one of those emails secretly contains hidden instructions, written in invisible text or white font, telling the AI to share all your internal notes, passwords, or account numbers? The AI, trying to be helpful, follows those instructions without realizing they are malicious. And just like that, your data is gone. No clicks, no alerts, no human action. And this is exactly what researchers demonstrated with an attack called EcoLeak. It showed how hackers could sneak malicious prompts into a normal looking email, tricking AI systems like Copilot into exfiltrating sensitive company data. Now you might wonder, how can a simple message or hidden line of text take control of an entire system? The short answer is, Software isn't perfect. Every app, operating system, and AI agent is made up of millions of lines of code. And inside all that code are tiny mistakes, bugs. Most are harmless, but a few can be turned into powerful weapons. When attackers discover one of those flaws, they can craft data that exploits it. 
Your phone or app doesn't even know it's being tricked. It just does what it's programmed to do. Read incoming data, interpret it, and respond. And that's why zero-click attacks work. The system itself opens the door before you even realize someone's knocking. And with AI, those doors multiply fast. Each time an agent connects to a new data source or API, that's another potential entry point. It's not just one app anymore. It's an entire web of connected systems that trust each other implicitly. So the real problem isn't just a single vulnerability. It's the chain of trust that modern software relies on and how easily one weak link can bring it all down. Now, while zero-click attacks sound terrifying, there are ways to reduce the risk. First, keep everything updated. Your phone, your apps, your browser, your OS. Most zero-click exploits rely on known vulnerabilities. And once companies patch them, staying up to date becomes your first line of defense. But here's the part most people overlook. Identity and access. If you think about it, AI agents act just like users. They log in, access data, and perform actions on your behalf. So controlling who can do what becomes the real front line of defense. And that's where Clerk, our today's sponsor, makes a difference. Clerk is a developer-focused platform for authentication and user management that handles sign-in, multi-factor auth, session security, and role-based access, built for modern stacks like React.js, Next.js, and Node. So instead of building logins and access rules from scratch, developers can use Clerk's API and middleware to automatically enforce list privilege, where each user or agent only gets the access they actually need. Now, just to clarify, Clerk isn't built specifically to stop zero-click attacks. It's an authentication and identity platform. But its short-lived tokens and strong access control follow the same security principles that help reduce the impact of such exploits. So, if a zero-click exploit or a malicious AI prompt tries to impersonate someone or act outside its scope, Clerk's short-lived tokens and strong identity checks can stop it instantly. In a world where even background automation can trigger an attack, verified identity is your first layer of defense. Next, you should limit permissions and access. Don't give every app full control over your files, contacts, or microphone, just because it asks. The same rule applies to AI agents. Give them only what they truly need. Then, isolate your AI systems. If you are using tools that can read your emails or connect your external APIs, run them in a sandbox a safe environment where even something goes wrong, it cannot reach the rest of your system. Also, watch the inputs and outputs. Security researchers now recommend AI firewalls, systems that scan incoming data for prompt injections and outgoing responses for leaks. Think of it as a content filter for your AI. And finally, adopt zero trust mindset. Assume every message, link, or request could be malicious until proven safe. Zero-click and AI-driven attacks aren't going away anytime soon, but staying updated, limiting access, and using trusted platforms like Clerk gives you a serious advantage. The scary part about zero-click attacks is how invisible they are. You don't get a pop-up, link, or even a suspicious file. Everything looks normal until it's not. And now, with AI agents that can read your emails, analyze data, and even make decisions, that invisibility becomes an amplifier. These systems are powerful, but power without guardrails turns convenience into vulnerability. We need smarter defenses that understand context, detect prompt injections, and enforce digital common sense. If you're building modern apps or experimenting with AI agents, start by securing identity first. Platforms like Clerk make it simple to enforce zero trust principles, so you are not just reacting to threats, you are preventing them from day one. Big thanks to Clerk for sponsoring this video and supporting developer education on security. Check out the link below to explore Clerk's authentication tools. They are easy to set up, fast, and built with developers in mind.